got some hair on my chest a little bit more than before. The taco train is taking me to place number three. We have a drink and a meal in one. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everybody to another edition of Jerry Eats. I'm your friendly neighborhood food vlogger, Jerry Huerta, as always. This is episode 25. I'm in Galia today, and I went to a spot that's brand new. There's a buzz around the area about it, and it's called Jonesy's Fried Chicken. And as you can imagine, they have fried chicken, right? And it's finger licking good, I think that's KFC maybe. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna try yet, but I'm super excited about it. So let's stop wasting time, and then we go in there and check it out. I got three sandwiches and I'm super excited about them. The cool thing is there's a wide variety of sandwiches and options on this menu. First things first, I'm gonna try out the, the Nashville Hot Cod. So you have the Nashville Hot Sauce on there, which is amazing. And you have the actual fried awesome fish. They go very well together. I've actually never had a Nashville Hot Fish Sandwich before, so this is a new, new one for me. Definitely great, it gives you a little bit of everything you want. So the crunch from the fish, you get lettuce, which is also very crispy. And then you also have the pickled peppers, the spice, and then mix it with tartar sauce to have a little bit of a, a contrast there. The Texas toast, which soaks up that sauce, doesn't get soggy and makes a big difference as well. So the crunch from the toast, the crunch from the lettuce, the awesome friedness of the cod, and the sauce with the Nashville heat makes a big difference. Let's move on to option number two, which is the JFC original. The first thing you taste with this is obviously the fried goodness, which this time is actually the fried chicken. Uh, very good. Fried to perfection, buttermilk battered. Got the lettuce in there, which provides that crunch as well. Different bread, so it's definitely not the same Texas toast, but definitely provides enough stability. Which contributes to the flavoring is the JFC sauce. It makes it really great. Or they have pickles galore here, and this also has some pickles on it. They're very crunchy. I do love pickles. They have some spicy options, they have regular pickles. Like I said, try those out if you come out here. Very, very good. So now let's move on to option three. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of greatness here, so I'm gonna try this one. This one has me pretty excited. This one is called the Georgia Peach. It's not just two thumbs up. If I had more than two, I'd give it maybe three. If you're a fan of salty sweet, this is the move for you. It has the fried chicken, like I said before. That, that's the main event in all these sandwiches. Then you have the peaches in there. A little bit of sweetness there. Like I said, I'm a big fan of the salty sweet mix here. You have the, the sweetness with the peaches. You have the crunchiness with the chicken. The bread is a biscuit, which I love a good biscuit. So this biscuit is nice and soft and cooked to perfection. And then finally, to put it all together and make it an awesome combination is the hot honey on there. You have a mix and mesh of flavors. Three or four thumbs up. If I had more thumbs, I would give it to it. Okay, so I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna finish eating this food and I'll see you all at the next spot. See you soon. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back everybody. I'm at place number two now and I ventured down the 101 out here into Carpinteria to a place that's near and dear to downtown Carpinteria and it's called Oaxaca Fresh. And I've actually never tried food from Oaxaca before and so this is my chance to take a little trip down there without actually going to Mexico. And they have all the great dishes from Oaxaca that you would like to try and so let me stop wasting time and let me go in there and check it out. So thank you to Oaxaca Fresh for doing this because obviously definitely hooked it up really well. The first thing I'm starting off my day with, which is what I would do anyway, is eating that breakfast, right? Eating those eggs, that protein, just to kind of get started on that. So the first thing I'm trying today is the carne asada omelet. It's basically got everything you want in an omelet. It's got the eggs, which I love as well. The carne asada, which is awesome, very well seasoned, very tender. Definitely makes a big difference in this omelet. Then you have that cheese in there, which is nicely shredded. It has that jack cheese, so pepper jack, a little bit of spice there as well. And then finally you have the avocado and the pico de gallo. Three of the five servings of fruit and vegetables you already set up for this already. And so I'm happy to start my day off right with this nice breakfast meal here. Now we have the leuda, which is a traditional Oaxacan dish. There's definitely a lot of different flavors mixed together in one. And Automatically taste the crunchiness from the tortilla, which is really good. It's huge, as you can see. Then you have the black beans, which provide a little bit of that protein as well. And obviously, you can't have any Mexican food if you don't have beans and rice. So I got my beans here. Great. It has the fresh cheese, which is great, with some beans mixed together. That's always a good time. The cabbage, the grilled chorizo, which I'm a big fan of chorizo. A little bit of spice is always a good time. So 
That's not all that's there though. There's grilled beef, which is also great. And then you have the pork as well, which is seasoned awesome. The pork marinated, really, really good. It's like a tostada on steroids. Let's move on over to dish number three. If there was like a bunch of bands coming, this is the main event here. This is the mocajete. This whole dish is just, it's just really, really good. Definitely two thumbs up with this one here. First of all, this is the meats it has, which is, like I told you, any Mexican dish has a bunch of meats in it. So this one has carne asada, has chicken, chorizo, shrimp. So that's right off the top, very, very great. The nopal, which is the cactus, very good, cooked to perfection. Queso fresco, which is awesome. You wanna have that good cheese in there also to complement the rest of the meats. And then you have the avocado, which, like I said before, if you're not having those healthy fats from avocado and you live in California, what are you doing? Try the avocado, it's definitely good. And then finally, the tortillas, which I love tortillas, especially I'm a big fan of flour tortillas. Wow, that was so good, a lot of good stuff there. Please rate, review, follow my page, follow these videos, like these videos, all the above. This will really help these local businesses stay local businesses, right? We wanna make sure we help them. So please do that for me, and obviously that'll make a big difference for them as well. well I'm gonna finish this food, and I will see you all the next video. See you soon.